Hello everyone, this is Mr. Abdurazak and in this video we are going to be treating the last part of my three series video on properties and classes of materials. The first video I talked about wood and metals, the second I talked about ceramics and glass. This video is going to be treating plastics and rubber. I'm sure a lot of us around us are using plastic materials on a daily basis. Yes, that is how important um, plastic has been to man. Now, the word plastic itself is gotten from the Latin word plasticus, which means to mold or to form. Plastics are a wide range of um, synthetic or semi-synthetic organic compounds that can be molded into any solid object. Okay, so plastics are majorly gotten from crude oil. Uh, and um, they can also be gotten from polylactic acid which is gotten from corn and cellulose 6 which is also gotten from um, cotton wool now what are the properties of plastic the first one is that um, plastics are very light which means they are not heavy it doesn't mean they are bright in color it means they are not heavy um, plastics are also poor conductors of heat and electricity that is why they use it for um, most of the electrical accessories you find around and the next is um, plastics do not rust or corrode obviously because they don't contain iron and then plastics can be remelted and remolded there are two types of plastics you have the thermoset plastic and the thermoplast now the thermosets cannot be softened by liquid when you eat it and um, cannot be softened into liquid when you eat it when you apply it to it it burns instead of becoming liquid so um, the thermoplast can be softened into liquid when you apply it. Okay, then the second difference is since the thermoset burns when you apply it, it cannot be remolded. But the thermoplast melts and becomes liquid when you apply it, which means that it can be remolded into something else and allowed to cool. And when it cools, it still becomes plastic again. Now, examples of your thermoset plastics are the buttons electrical accessories like i said earlier on when i was talking about the properties and also the compact disc you can see a picture of the compact disc uh, below okay and um, examples of thermoplasts you have your buckets your containers your spoons your um your plastics your kegs and even this uh, bottle here for water water bottle here uh, you can find the picture just above um, the compact disc picture okay uh, then uh, let's talk about rubber rubbers are elastic substances that can be stretched and do not allow liquids to flow through it meaning it is not porous okay and rubber is gotten from latex which is produced by rubber tree and you can see a picture here showing uh, latex being collected in a small bowl okay now what are the properties of rubber they are poor conductors of electricity they are shock absorbers meaning that um, they use them they, they place them under machines in order to reduce the shock that the machine incurs when it is probably working and it is shaking okay and they're also waterproof like i said earlier they don't allow liquid through them they are not porous now, there are two types of rubber. You have the artificial rubber and the natural rubber. The natural rubber is gotten from latex, while the artificial rubber is gotten from petroleum. Now, another difference is natural rubbers cannot undergo, um, can undergo vulcanization. Now, what is vulcanization? Vulcanization is the addition of sulfur to rubber in order to make it tough and um, flexible yes that's where they got the word vulcanizer from yes 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 you just understood that okay it does not um, undergo vulcanization that's artificial rubber it cannot undergo vulcanization okay now what are the differences between plastics and rubber plastics are mostly gotten from synthetic resins while rubber is mostly gotten from latex also plastics are mostly not elastic but rubber um, rubber materials are usually elastic um, plastic cannot be deformed once it is hardened while rubber can be remolded when they are melted or when they have formed the shape 
you can still melt it down and remove it of course not all types of uh, rubber okay now uh, in this video we've been able to talk about um, plastics we've talked about types of plastics we've talked about um, properties of plastics we've talked about rubber um, the properties of rubber the types of rubber and the basic difference between plastic and rubber now your assignment is going to be to at least list at least two similarities between plastic and rubber yes we didn't talk about it but i'm sure you're going to get it just sit down and take your time okay and um second question is what are the five basic materials that occur naturally on earth and are used in the production of technological gadgets uh, the third question is to list at least two uses each of plastics and rubber the questions are quite simple i, I believe that um, if you've gone through this video very well